Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're gonna to talk to you about how to get business credit and loans with bad personal credit. We're gonna go over different funding options that you can get for your business without having good personal credit. Also towards the end, if you don't meet any of the qualifications for any of the types of funding that I talk about in this video, there is a way that you can start building business credit from scratch without having any sales any personal credit history without having any cash flow or collateral. So stay tuned to the end of the video so you can get information on how you can get that free training that explains everything in depth. If you wanna see more videos about business credit, business grants, and more, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon and also like this video so that it helps boost this video out to more people so that more and more people can learn how to get business credit for their business because not a lot of people actually break down what you need to have, all the requirements and all of that. So I'm gonna talk about that in this video, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's get right into it. So the cash access problem, we're gonna talk about that. Most business owners go to their bank when they need money. But according to the Department of Revenue, less than 2% of all businesses or all business loans come from big banks. Banks deal with very conservative risk and business lending is very risky because 90% of businesses fail within the first 10 years. The result is that 89% of the business bank applications are typically denied per the small business lending index. And this is also why Bloomberg says funding a new small business don't bother with banks. Why? Because it's very hard for you to get approved with the traditional banks like Chase and Bank of America. Even though most struggle to get money, 86% of small businesses rely on some type of credit or financing for survival per the National Federation of Independent Business. And per SBA, the major reason for business failure is insufficient capital and lack of adequate funding. And since most small businesses can't get money, that leaves over 9 million American businesses that need money and can't get it. According to the National Small Business Association, are you one of the 9 million who need money and can't get it? If you are, you gotta keep watching this video so that you can understand the different types of funding and how you can get funding for your business even if you have bad personal credit. So you're gonna love what you're gonna learn in this video. If you're looking for money for your business, there's great news. Did you know there are billions of dollars to be lent to small businesses? But most of this money will not come from the big banks. The real problem isn't that there isn't money to borrow, it's that most business owners don't know where to go to get approved. So conventional financing qualifications, AKA SBA loan qualifications. All of the big banks and most smaller banks use SBA loans as their primary business funding program. These types of conventional loans are very hard to qualify for as the borrower must qualify per SBA guidelines and the lender's guidelines. So you have to meet two sets of guidelines in order to qualify for these conventional bank loans from the big banks like Chase, Bank of America, so on and so forth. SBA loans are also tough to qualify for because the lender and the SBA will evaluate all aspects of the business and the business owners for approval. To get approved, all aspects of the business and business owners personal finances must be near perfect to ever get approved. To get approved for conventional loans, you must have the following excellent personal credit with no derogatory marks on your credit report. So no derogatory reported items at all. You need to have excellent bank credit, keeping over $10,000 liquid in your bank account. So bank credit pretty much is, you can't have a lot of overdrafts, you can't have low balances, you need to have liquid cash in your account over $10,000. Excellent business credit with a Paydex score of 80 or more, or 80 or above. You'll need to have excellent financials that show net profits increasing from year to year. You'll need to show you manage that cash flow 
good per your business and personal bank statements. And you'll need substantial collateral to offset what you're borrowing, sometimes equal to 100% of what's being borrowed. Other items you'll need to provide for approval include a profit and loss statement. This must be current within 90 days of your application. Also include supplemental or supplementary schedules from the last three physical years. All right, so current and projected financial statements. So you'll need to include current and a detailed one year projection of income and finances and attach a written explanation as to how you expect to achieve this projection. Also, you need to have your business certificate or license. This is very common, this is very standard. You need to have your original business license or certificate of doing business. If your business is a corporation, stamp your corporate seal on the SBA loan application form. Also, loan application history. Include records of any loans you may have applied for in the past. Also, you're gonna need your income tax returns. Include signed personal and business federal tax returns for your business's principles for previous three years. Resumes, include personal resumes for each principle. So personal background information as well. As you can see, the SBA requires a lot to get a loan from them. You need to have your business plan, business credit report. Also, as far as personal credit goes, your lender will attain your personal credit report as part of the application process. However, you should obtain a credit report from all three major major credit bureaus before submitting your application just to make sure that you don't have any collections on there, any derogatory marks on your credit report whatsoever. There's a high chance that you can get denied. So inaccuracies or blemishes on your credit report can hurt your chances of getting a loan approved. It's critical that you try to clear these up before beginning the application process. Okay, so once again, you wanna make sure that you have these items ready before you submit your application. You're gonna to need to have your legal documents ready. So depending on the loan specific requirements, your lender may require you to submit one or more legal documents Make sure you have the following items in order if applicable. You need to have your business license and registrations required for you to conduct business. If they ask for it, most likely they will. Articles of incorporation, copies of contracts. If you have any contracts with any third parties, franchise agreements, if you have that. Commercial leases, if you have that. If you don't have any leases, don't worry about it. So that's a lot of stuff that you need to have. As a result, most business owners struggle to get approved for financing because they and their business aren't as perfect as the lenders and SBA require. They don't have collateral, cash flow, and the credit needed for approval. So how to get approved for business financing? The great news is there are a lot of funding options outside of these conventional bank loans. Outside of the SBA loans, there are tons and tons of financing options. Alternative financing is one of the most popular options available today. You can get business credit regardless of your personal credit, regardless of your personal situation. So here is some information about alternative business financing. So there's business financing based on strengths. Most alternative sources will lend you money based on your business strengths. If you have strength in a certain area, you can get approved. So the of lending. Three strengths you'll need to get approved are as follows. So you'll need at least one of these. Cash flow, collateral, credit, good personal credit or good business credit. So this is how cash flow financing works cash flow financing is one of the most popular types of business financing today most ads relating to getting business financing with bad credit is a form of cash flow financing the two most common types of cash flow financing are merchant advances and business revenue financing so the cash flow financing qualifications 
To get approved for cash flow financing, you'll need to be able to show six months of business statements and merchant statements. Those bank statements must reflect that your business makes over $120,000 in annual revenue or about $10,000 per month. You can also get a merchant advance with $5,000 in credit card revenue monthly. You need to be in business for one year to qualify for a lot of these cash flow financing programs. You need to have more than 10 transactions or deposits per month into your business account. You cannot have more than 10 NSFs or non-sufficient fund charges. You should have some sort of balance left at the end of each month. Revenue lending and merchant advances. So those are short-term loans that range from six months to 18 months. Loans are usually $10,000 to $500,000. Loan amounts equal to eight to 12% of annual revenue. They have rates of 10% to 45%. And you also need to have at least a 500 personal credit score. There is no collateral required. Personal credit isn't a big factor in qualification if you're not currently in any trouble now, such as being in a bankruptcy or having recent judgments or liens. You can get money super fast in as little as 72 hours. I've seen some programs do it within 24 to 48 hours. Approval is easy, just a quick bank statement review. You can easily renew your advance and get more money within 24 to 48 hours within a review of two months bank statements once you've paid down 50% of your initial advance. You can get approved when you get denied with most other sources. This is just one of the most forgiving business lending options available today. Okay, so I wanna talk about collateral-based financing. So you'll need to have acceptable collateral, accounts receivable, stocks, bonds, and other securities, inventory, purchase orders so acceptable collateral is equipment a 401k real estate so account receivable factoring so you need to have up to 80 percent of receivables forwarded one year in business required must be receivables from another business or the government rates of 1.25 to 5 percent and then there's also securities based lines of credit so you need to have 70 to 90 percent ltv of stock value rates as low as two to three percent working capital line of credit challenged personal credit is okay so now here's an overview of what you'll need with inventory loans so a minimum of one hundred fifty thousand dollars in inventory loans so that's basically the lowest that you can get general loan to value cost 50 percent but the inventory value would have to be three hundred thousand dollars plus no lump together inventory like office equipment rates are normally two percent monthly on the outstanding loan balance examples of companies that might qualify include a factory or a retail store also there is purchase order financing you can get up to five hundred thousand dollars you can get up to 90% of your existing purchase orders advanced. You'll be issued a letter of credit. Also, there is 401k financing. So you can use your 401k or IRAs. You can get up to 100% financing. Rates are usually less than 5%. You are basically investing your 401k into your business instead of buying stocks in other businesses. There are no tax ramifications based on proven IRS strategies. So there's also commercial real estate financing. You can get up to $20 million for commercial real estate financing. You can get up to 55% loan to value for refinances, 20 to 30 year loans, rates of 4% to 8%. You need to have at least a 550 FICO score needed for approval conventional and SBA 504 loans are available. Now, as far as credit-based financing, unsecured business credit cards. This is what you'll need. First, you can get approval amounts from 10,000 up to $150,000. 
you'll need to have business credit reporting onto your business credit report. So you'll need to start with vendor accounts, net 30 vendor accounts, net 60, whatever type of vendor accounts that you can start with. Usually people start with the net 30, like Quill, that is an example of a net 30 vendor account. You'll need to have excellent personal credit with open revolving credit, low inquiries, and utilization under 30%. Approval amounts similar to current limits, 0 to 25% APR, 0% for 6 to 18 months, and then a 9 to 12% fee. Credit partners are okay. So, so in order to get unsecured business credit cards, you will need to have either good personal credit or good business credit. Some credit cards will require that you become a personal guarantee for the credit card. So they're gonna run your personal credit information. Some credit cards do not require that you be a personal guarantee. And if they don't require that you be a personal guarantee, you have to have business credit built up in order to obtain those cards. So you'll start with vendor accounts because vendor accounts do not require that you have any business credit history in order for them to give you an account so it works like this they will give you an account to buy office supplies or whatever types of products that they have at their store or on their website and you'll pay it back within a certain amount of time the most common is 30 days so they'll send you an invoice that you have to pay within 30 days or whatever time frame that they have set for you to pay it back some is 60 some have 15 days some have 90 days and they'll report your payment history to the business credit bureaus like dun and bradstreet experian and equifax those are the three major business credit bureaus there are other ones but those are the most common ones so in order to learn more about that there is a link in the description for you to check out my business credit webinar that teaches you how to build business credit without using your personal information, without using yourself as a personal guarantee. You won't need to use your social security number. So it doesn't matter if you have business credit or not. It doesn't matter if you have good personal credit. It doesn't matter if you have collateral. It doesn't matter if you are a startup. It doesn't matter if you have no cash flow. You can start building business credit from scratch without any of that stuff. So check that webinar out. Link will be in the description and in the pinned comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications on new videos.